My name is Edmund Allen Jones. Hi, I'm Carolette Phillips. And uh, we are here to talk to you a little bit today about this little play you might have heard of called Richard III. Yes, and I will be Lady Anne. And I'll be Slick Ricky himself. I gotta say, I, I came to the Hillberry as a teenager, and, I, and I, it's funny, before I auditioned to get into the Hillberry, I found a program that I had from when I came to see a Hillberry show when I was 17, and it said, I will do this one day. And to be able to come here and get on that stage and perform is one of my dreams come true, and so it's really cool to be a part of that. So in that sense, being a Detroit, you know, being from Detroit, Seeing Hillberry shows, wanting to be on that stage, and finally being on it, that's, that's an incredible blessing. Yes, um, I really, we're, we were both born and raised in the city of Detroit. Um, and I think, you know, for a lot of people that are not from here, don't know people from Detroit, when I've lived in other places, you know, when I was in New York, or even when I was in D.C., and people say, oh, you're from Detroit? You're so nice, or you're so talented. <laughs> you're from there, like from the city, and people really don't, you know, believe that you can have, um, you know, genuine people, caring people, gifted people um, coming from Detroit because Detroit gets such a bad rap. But um, growing up here, you know, being educated here, um, being in Mosaic Youth Theater of Detroit, that was another thing that we often faced was going to perform in other places and people saying wow you know you have this kind of talent in Detroit or you know you would never think it and you get so much negativity mm -hmm. um, so that's one of the things I really appreciate about being able to be a part of the Hillberry Company and say yes I am from this city yes I was born and raised here my mother actually went to Wayne State and received her masters here um, and it's great to be able to do theater and artistic work of this caliber mm -hmm. in the city. Um, you have so many people that come, you know, from other surrounding areas to come to the Hillberry and come into Detroit. And I hope that that can always continue. Mm -hmm. um, but especially just being, a, you know, African American and being native of here, it's really wonderful to have the opportunity to get on that stage and perform. And I hope that it's not only, you know, a positive um, you know, image and positive opportunity for me, but also for, you know, other young mm -hmm. uh, artists and especially other young African American artists yeah. to be able to come into, you know, the theater and, and see the things that are happening right here in the city and, you know, for them to have uh, hope, you know, that yeah. they can do something like that in the future just as we did as, yeah. as young people. Absolutely. Yeah, I can remember seeing uh, black actors in the Royal Shakespeare Company and that meaning so much to me to be able to see somebody that looked like me and people in my family up there performing this wonderful text and to be able to come to an institution that you know allows Carolette and myself to to be able to perform these 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 great roles that people love and that people get excited about you know how's Richard how's Richard coming you know and and to be blessed with that opportunity and to know that that wasn't always the case and um, and so it's, it's exciting, and, and we we don't take that we don't take that lightly. It's a great it's really a great honor, and to you know be a part of the the history of the you know, the program and the theater. The first professional play I actually ever saw in Detroit uh, was also you know right here at Wayne State. I believe I saw the Comedy of Errors at the Bond Still when I was about thirteen or fourteen, and I saw another play. Uh, it was a Commedia play at the Hillberry, maybe like a year later, and it was just. You know, I was just amazed by it. It felt like magic, like, oh my gosh, how do people do this? And, you know, it's so great now to actually be a part of it. It's really, really wonderful. Once again, this is Edmund Allen Jones. And I'm Carolette Phillips. And we want you to really enjoy your, your stay here at the Hillberry Theater. Thank you so much.